Hey, what's up guys? I'm Dave Klein. So, wow, 10,000 subscribers. That's that's crazy. Thank you guys so much. Um, I, I kind of wanted to do a channel update and thank you guys because that's absolutely wild. So again, thank you guys. And uh, kind of let you guys know what's going on and also break the fourth wall a little bit. Not that the Let's Plays don't at all, but, you know, kind of just break it a little bit further. Like you can see, I have right here this 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 mic. So... This is the mic that I record with. It's not the highest quality mic. I actually got it when I was in high school to record music because I used to write music a lot. I play guitar and drums, so I liked writing music that, uh, or I used to say recording the music that I wrote. But back to the topic at hand. Um, I just wanted to do a couple updates for you guys, let you know some stuff that I'm working on, and also do a big thank you. Um, so first of all, I started a Twitch channel for you guys who like watching my let's plays or if you want to check out some live stream action the twitch channel goes every thursday uh right now my schedule is pacific time every single thursday and that's kind of what i'm doing so at the moment dark souls i'm not saying that's the only thing i'm going to do i probably will eventually branch out and do other topics other games same thing with my youtube channel i'm sorry i do love uh dark souls but i want to cover some more kingsfield stuff and eventually, you know, there's other games and other things that I like to do, but I will always have a core of Dark Souls, or at least for the time being, for the foreseeable future, I do plan on doing a lot, a lot more Dark Souls and Dark Souls 2, as well as other From Software, because I'm a big fan of the company. But, um, yeah, so right now with the stream with Twitch, it's twitch.tv slash Live, keeping it simple, and you can go ahead and check that one out, and that's going to be a lot of Dark Souls content for the time being and maybe eventually you know i'll do other games as well probably like shovel knight when that comes out because that game looks awesome i'll probably want to do a stream and talk about shovel knight a little bit and just other games that interest me as i've been a gamer for a long long time so that's that piece right there so some background information on me for you guys who don't know is I actually double majored in computer science and video game design in college and went on to work in new media. So I worked for multiple networks doing hosting, writing, producing, and then I ended up doing production work for entertainment for a while, um, which isn't video game related, but it's, you know, it's just production work and entertainment. So that's actually what I've been doing for a while. And I've actually been working with various YouTube channels for six years at this point. So this channel... Well, when I started it, I just thought, okay, you know what, I like my own personal channel because I've been working with all these other people for a while trying to help them build up. And I kind of just did this channel for fun. Like, alright, you know what, I'm just going to start talking about games I like, like Dark Souls and doing less plays. And uh, maybe I'll do a lore video on some cool info that MS Painting, who I'm going to give a shout out to in a little bit, uh, gave me some cool info on with Nito. But, you know, it's nothing so like... I, like I said, I wasn't expecting it to get big. It was more like, well, maybe if people like my YouTube channel, they'll check out Game Control, which is why I called my channel Dave Control. It was just like, Game Control was it something else I was working on that I was producing at the time that I was trying to build up. And it was something I never really thought this channel or my own personal thing would get big. And nothing I've even worked on before has ever gotten this big. So I've been working for a long time on things like this and never expected anything, especially now that YouTube's so oversaturated with stuff and content. So again, thank you guys so much. I really cannot thank you enough. So with that said, in my background, I've been playing also, I've been playing games since I was two years old. I beat Mega Man 2 when I was four. So I've been playing, I've been the gamer for a long, long time. And there's other things I do too, which I will probably show you guys. Like I've been breakdancing for, we call it b-boying. I've been breakdancing for five years at this point, four years at this point. So I'll probably show some of that at some point. But I thought something fun to do is that every time I kind of hit a view milestone in my opinion, or a subscriber milestone, uh, it's something to me like, wow, this is crazy. I can't believe I got this many subscribers. I'll share a new video with you guys that is something I did in the past that's kind of embarrassing maybe. Sometimes it'll be better, sometimes it'll be worse, but something that I worked on that never really hit its stride like this YouTube channel did, just so you can guys can see where I come from and also... I guess how long it can take to build up a channel for people who do want to start YouTube channels because sometimes I get questions like, wow, I want to start up a YouTube channel. What do I do? And you know, even though this particular channel took off relatively quickly, it's something that I've actually been working on personally for a long time. So um, I'm going to drop a link right here and this video right here. So it's a little embarrassing going back to it, but this video is a video for a network that I worked with for four years and it's actually the very first video I made for them. The network is called Game Zombie, 
and this video is the first video that I edited and it was one of my first times ever editing and the producer had me make some changes that I didn't like like making it so the volume in the background stuff got way too loud so you couldn't hear the person talking but it was literally my first thing I ever really edited for new media and I'd done some editing before for a TV show I started for my college but not much so I was really raw and new to editing and learning things and it's not that great. So I'm sharing it with you guys. So if you want to check that out, that's a video of the past that I'm going to share for this milestone, I guess I could say. And then next time I hit one, I'll share another video. And progressively, they might get a little bit better. Like there's a new media show I've worked on that I'll probably share at one point. But um, yeah, so if you guys want to check that out, that's uh, one spot where I started from. So, so every single one of you guys who has subscribed, who's... Um, commenting on my videos I can't tell you how much I thank you guys for it it's it's absolutely incredible and it blows me away still that when I really think about it like I, I can't believe that this many people are watching my videos that's absolutely insane when I first started my channel every single time I'd get one new subscriber it was it really is something special when you think like wow that's one person watching my videos that's crazy when you think about it because like to me it's really rare that I'll subscribe to a channel and I do subscribe to them but it's just it's pretty rare that I do it and it's just like you think about like well how many channels do I really subscribe to and and when you think about it that way every individual subscription really means a lot and it's kind of easy to get big-headed when you start getting a lot of subscribers like oh well I only got this many subscribers or this many views but I really do try to think about like wow man that's that's crazy and when I first started this channel just getting a single subscriber was such a big deal to me and just thinking about it that way it makes it all that more crazy to have this many subscribers so again I mean again like I keep on saying thank you to you guys but um, I do need to give a bunch of specific thank yous that I want to dish out first to MS Painting. He really helped me build my channel to what it is now. And at the time it started, I made one video that was highly produced, which was the Five Strangest Things in Dark Souls video, which at the moment is actually my most viewed video and also my most disliked video, the one that has the most dislikes. And something where I just did it as a joke, and I knew the lore of the, the game pretty well at that point. Not as well as I know now, but I knew it pretty well in People just kind of treated it as like, well, this guy doesn't know what he's talking about, when it was very much a joke video. So I was kind of like, well, I do, so maybe if I make a lore video or something like that, people will know that I know what I'm talking about. And MS Painting came to me with these really cool ideas that he he kind of discovered on Nido and Pinwheel. And I was like, well, I'd love to make this video. And I just started working on a Nido one. I kind of came up with my own ideas as well and mixed them with his. And he deserves as much credit as I do for that video. But um, I came up with some of my own concepts, and then I also used a lot of stuff that he shared with me and things that he dug up. And that video just took off. And it was one that I made because no one had really made a video on Nito before. And I was like, well, you know, I think he has some cool lore, and MS Painting shared some really cool stuff with me. And then I came up with some ideas, and it just kind of evolved into that video. And a lot of it was too was just me saying like, hey, you should take me my Five Strangest Things video and look at that as a joke because I do know what I'm talking about with the lore. So after that, then I have Vadi Vidya to thank um, a lot, really, because he liked that video. And after that, literally, I had like 30 subscribers, and all of a sudden, it jumped to 500 subscribers in one day because he liked that video. Or I guess I had 50, but still, it was like 50 to 500 subscribers in a day. And then after that, it was, you know, trickled back down to hardly anything. And I started working on making more and more lore videos and high quality content. And continuing the Let's Plays because I think they're fun. So people who don't like the Let's Plays, sorry, I like doing them. I think they're fun. But, um, and I like watching them. Otherwise, I wouldn't make them. But regardless, that's, uh, that's how it really first started, I guess, was that because of that. So MS Painting and Vadi Video really have a huge amount of... Uh, credit, I think, and I give them both a lot of thanks. That sounded really awkward. But MS Painting, since then, has been someone who I, with the Dark Souls lore, I've talked to a lot, and we go back and forth, and he's helped me on some videos, some videos have been my own, but again, he deserves a lot of credit. And same thing with my roommate and my good friend, John Quick. He's someone that I've been able to always discuss lore with, 
and because of having that double check in a way, I've always, that's helped me a lot with a lot of videos that I've worked on where I, I come up with the concept, I write the video, and then I kind of read it off the script to him. I'm like, hey, hey, John, come here. You got to listen to this and tell me what you think. And he gives me some pointers and helps me rewrite it a little bit. So John Quick deserves a lot of credit, which is why he's in some of my big collaboration videos. So on that note, I also owe a huge, huge amount to Terra Mantis, who you guys have heard uh, me reference a lot and make a lot of joke videos about, but Terra Mantis and I actually now talk almost every day. We've become pretty good friends, and I consider him a friend of mine. He's a really awesome guy, but beyond that, he makes great, great videos and kind of a different style. He makes some really cool videos, and he approached me. He was like, hey, let's do a video together. I've been wanting to do this 10 Things That Inspires Dark Souls video, and there's a lot of Kingsfield stuff, and it looks like you know a lot about Kingsfield, so let's work on this together. So after working on that video together and realizing that we both put a lot of passion and hard work in what we do, and we had a lot in common, we became pretty close friends, and then it made it a lot easier for me to start doing the major collaborations that I started working on. So coming from a producer world, I was able to then have Terra Mantis already behind me and making a collaboration video, so that's too big people and start really building up these giant collaboration videos that you guys have watched like 12 Days of Soulsmiths and Prepare to Wait. And there are ideas I came up with and the bigger my channel gets the easier it is to make those collaborations and I kind of have proven myself in a way where I can hopefully get more people on board for any future ones that I come up with. So with that, I mean, thanks to everyone who was involved in the collaborations and even just taking the chance, like at the time, my channel was still pretty small and being like, yeah, I love to be in this collaboration video, even though you're not that big. So, Ouroboro the Ninja, Obobobo, Silvermont, Sunlight Blade, Terra Mantis, Peeves or P. Feverson, Sunlight Maggot, Nutoff Zero, sorry, I'm saying that wrong, Aaron's Mind, Veselikov, Halkai Drake, Dreaded Cone, a German spy who actually was a huge part in helping get Epic Name Bro on board for Prepare to Wait. And of course, Epic Name Bro and Vadi Vidya, which was awesome to be able to get those guys on Prepare to Wait. So thank you to all of you guys for being a part of those collaborations. It means a lot to me. And also to all of you guys who, everyone who subscribed or checked me out, but also the guys who actually subscribed to me and started commenting and interacting with me on my very first videos before I had any subscribers and taking a chance on me like how many people how often do you subscribe to someone who has like 50 subscribers or watch their videos it's usually not very often so to even to take a chance thank you guys and hopefully I've proven myself to you and shown that okay I, I've held up and given you good reasons to subscribe to me so for all of you new people who have and all of you people since the very beginning it's, it's very very much appreciated so as far as actual updates go um, I finished another let's play for Dark Souls 2 that I need to edit and that I'm working on it might take a little bit longer for this one to end up compressing but I have finished that so I'm working, trying as hard as I can to do a combination of Let's Play Dark Souls 2 videos, Dark Souls 2 lore videos, and one-off comedy videos, and other things I want to work on. It's just doing all of those at once, they all take a lot of time, so sometimes it's hard finding the right balance between doing them all, because they all take a good, huge amount of time. But with that, yeah, more Dark Souls 2 lore videos, some more one-offs. I definitely want to do more King's Field stuff, like... Uh, Kingsfield the Ancient City I want to do. Kingsfield Japan I need, to, I need to finish up. But I love Kingsfield the Ancient City so I need to finish Japan so I can get to Ancient City. And also Kingsfield lore videos. I know I keep on teasing I'm going to do that stuff but I really will. It's just Dark Souls 2 has been taking up all of my time if you guys haven't been able to tell. And I did finish that Let's Play Dark Souls video. I finished it. It's done. Except for that stupid audio problem. And the reason I haven't gone back and re-recorded it in post is I've been so stuck on Dark Souls 2. It's hard for me to go back to Dark Souls and really do a mindset where I can commentate on it to a point where I'd be happy with it. So I really want to make sure that if I do re-record the audio and have to do post commentary, it's really good and it's really worth it. Otherwise, I'm trying to figure out a way to do, fix this problem. Uh, the, the problem is I recorded it in GarageBand. GarageBand had some weird error and it's uh, normally it's like 8 bits or something like that and for some or 16 bits and then switched it to 8 bit or switched it to 4 bit and I just cannot get it to play in GarageBand. I cannot get it to up, uh, go into iTunes. I cannot get it to get into Compressor or some program where I can change the format and I think there is some way out there to change the format back to the correct format, but I cannot figure it out at the moment, and I'm trying to. So as soon as I can do that, I'm going to put that Let's Play and finish off Let's Play Dark Souls Kita Edition for the first Dark Souls. It will get done. I am trying. 
Um, the other thing is I have another series that I want to work on that's completely unrelated to Souls or From Software that I'm going to work on in a couple months. It's going to be a once a week thing and I will continue to work on Souls and From Software content in the background. But this is kind of a general thing I've been wanting to do for a long time that I think you guys will still enjoy. So. Uh, do check that out when it happens. If you guys don't like it, let me know. But I think you guys will like this video series that I'm working on. So. so as far as updates go, I think that's it. Unfortunately, I don't have a giant video for you guys prepared because I've been so hard working on videos to just upload as I go. I want to keep on working on more collaborations as well. Uh, there might be some more in the works or talks for some new ones, so keep an eye out for those. So that wraps me up for this one. Uh, hopefully, again, there'll be another milestone in the future where I can show off another embarrassing thing from the past or maybe something cool that people never got a chance to see. But thank you guys so much for this. It's amazing. It's, it's crazy, even though I sound like a broken record saying that over and over again. But I will see you guys in the next video. I'm hard at work on more stuff, so I'll see you guys next time. Later. Peace.